back again with another Cajun dish. All that talk about Hurricane Barry in the Gulf made me hungry for seafood. I'm doing some couvee on today, but I'm adding some shrimp. So here we go. All right, for the dish we're gonna need peeled deveined shrimp, catfish fillets. Keeping it simple, just onion and bell pepper. Petite diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, can of Rotel, Cajun or Creole seasoning, pick your favorite, make your own, throw in a little bay to give it that crawfish ball flavor. Have the shells in a pot filled with a little bit of water. We're going to season that with a little old bay and a little bit of Tony Sasseries, and we're going to get that simmering on the stove. We'll be back in a second. All right, we're going to crank the heat up on high. Put the pot on there, get it boiling, or to a good simmer, then we'll lower it down. All right, we're going to start on the vegetables first. Start sauteing the uh, onions and bell peppers. You got to have a stick of butter. I think it's a little more than half. It's like Kirkland's butter. It's a big half. We'll be back when that's melted. All right, butter's melted. Going in with the greens. The onion, the bell pepper. We're going to saute that down for about five minutes. We want to cook these down until they're soft, tender, translucent. We'll give it a few minutes. It's been simmering about five minutes in the butter everything's soft I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of flour and make like a blonde roux I don't want a dark roux but I want to put it in there to thicken up the tomato sauce and whenever we start cooking the gravy all right after I added that flour crank the pot up on high that's about what I want I don't want it to start turning dark Darken up the roux. And now we're going to add tomatoes and the rotel. Stir that around, mix it up, let that start cooking down. All right, I'm going to bring this to a slight simmer, then I'm going to lower it, put the lid on it, let it simmer for maybe five minutes, and we'll see where we're at then. All right, guys, it's been five minutes. Let's check this pot and see what we got here. Oh, yeah, tomatoes starting to stick, getting thick. Make sure you scrape them sides. Don't forget them Cajun spoons with the cut off tip. You gotta have that flat tip to scrape. Alright, I'm cranking the heat up. So like a high medium. I'm adding a can of tomato sauce in there. Stir that around. I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes. All right, it's been simmering for about three minutes. Getting thick. That's what I want. They start breaking down those tomatoes. You don't want to burn it. Okay. And now we're going to add the uh, shrimp stock that's been simmering away. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right. Get in there. Get out of the way. 
that shrimp stock we made is going to give it good flavor. To me, the shrimp stock is important. It flavors the gravy a lot more than just adding the catfish and the shrimp. The reason why is the catfish will fall apart easy if you cook it too long and the shrimp's going to get rubbery. So it doesn't matter if you buy seafood stock from a grocery store or you make your own in the gravy to me it really makes a big difference. Alright guys time to kick it up a notch. We all know a lot of people have heartburn from eating tomatoes. So to get rid of that we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of sugar. We might have to add more. No, actually I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to use baking soda. See the baking soda? Buy the cooking stuff. Don't grab that old box out the fridge that you've been taking up the odors. Use some good stuff. What that's going to do is look at that bubbling. That's going to take the acid out and sweeten up them nasty store-bought tomatoes. Because we all know the store-bought don't taste like homegrown. This is going to bubble for a few minutes. Well, I don't know, a minute or two. It'll get all the acid out. But believe me, if you have heartburn, you'll thank me in the morning. Alright, two minutes later. A little stirring. Foam is gone. And don't worry about that baking soda. You won't taste that. The sugar is going to knock most of that out and then the shrimp is going to overpower the seafood catfish. The sauce will be sweet but it will have the sweet taste of the shrimp because we used it in the broth and once the shrimp gets in there. So we're going to put this on simmer I guess down to uh, not quite low and put the lid on it for about three minutes and we'll be back. Let's add a little seasoning in there. I'm guessing maybe uh, half a teaspoon and a few shakes of Old Bay seasoning. It's going to give it that um, crawfish ball flavor. We don't want a bunch of it in there. It's just going to give you that little background taste. You really won't be able to identify it, but it'll be there and it makes a big difference. Time to add the fish and the shrimp. You want to put these in there and make sure they're in the gravy. Once they start cooking they're going to release some uh, some of that moisture. That's going to flavor the sauce. Shrimp time. Make sure everything's covered in sauce. I still have this on the simmer. I'm just simmering it. Let it cook slow. It'll come back up to the simmer. I'll put the lid on it for about five minutes and then we'll check it. Shrimp and catfish is in. Bringing it back up to a simmer. Don't stir too hard so you don't break your fish. And it's starting to smell good in here. Alright, we back. Should be ready to go. Stir this gently. You want to break up your catfish. Oh yeah, look at that. Falling apart already. Simmer. We're going to turn that off. Oh, perfect, perfect. Alright. Let's make a plate. Alright. Got me a little plate of rice right here. There you go. See what we got here. Look at that gravy. 
Oh yeah. Catfish. A little more of that gravy. I like the gravy. Alright. Let's give this a taste test. Oh yeah, here we go. Some Louisiana soul food right here. This is comfort food. Everybody grew up eating this. Rice, tomato gravy, piece of catfish falling apart, a shrimp. Oh, how can you not love that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That right there will make you sleep like a baby. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Catfish cooked a little too long. That's them young catfish, the pond catfish. But it's good, though. Mmm. 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 And the shrimp is just a bonus. Mmm. When y'all coming over to eat, give me a call. Y'all have a good one. If you like this video too, subscribe. Click that button. Let me know what you want me to cook next. I'm out. Thanks for watching.